Good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Glad to be of service. As for the Senators, they weren't very happy with your testimony. Useless and disrespectful were the words they used, actually. Just trying to keep our backs clear, sir. But it's a fine line we walk, Lieutenant. Making the Senate too angry could have dire consequences. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied with the defection, General? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Tavis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive, but the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home. But in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. Havoc's squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jet Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. You don't want me to take Cardin out? If possible, I'd like you to capture Cardin alive. If he is involved in the defection, he could provide us with invaluable intelligence. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicar's Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. There's nobody I can't handle. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. You listen to me, Cardin. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruder! Drop that weapon, soldier. You're outnumbered and outgunned. Unless you want to die, you should follow your own advice. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... A Havoc badge? Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. Surrender, and this will all go much easier for you. You are a persistent soldier, I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis, not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You aren't going anywhere. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? No mistake, sir. These were Imperial commandos. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? 
Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. Shouldn't I be chasing Cardin, sir? We need to know where exactly Cardin has gone before you can pursue him. All the more reason to search the Justicar base for information. Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. I'll take care of this immediately. Good. Garza out. Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Are you saying the old man isn't my objective anymore? Cardin is still an objective, but not your only objective. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called The Works. Apparently, Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. Taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Matham to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. Dangerous ops are always the most fun. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant, but try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Sounds like a plan, General. Cardin could help us convince everyone to surrender peaceably. Make him see that. Otherwise, we're only going to kill them all. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives, regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out. LT, Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with fun toys in tow, sir. Let's see what you got for me. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R High Yield Thermite Explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. That'll be perfect. Now the comm relay you're going after is in The Works. An industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. I can handle myself. Not a doubt in my mind, sir. Just thought I'd give you the heads up. Once you've made your way to the relay, Plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center, and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. You always have a choice, sir. I've made my choice. Tavis, Wraith, Needles, Gearbox... Fuse, they're like my children, and I abandoned them. I resigned and left them to fight alone, just to make a point. They need my help now more than ever. I'm not going to abandon them. Not this time. If you want to help your people, you'll help me bring them in alive. What, so Garza can have all their heads and be done with it? I don't think so. I know you're trying to get into my head, soldier, but it's not going to work. Think what you want, Carden. Doesn't make my point any less true. All I know is that you're really trying my patience, soldier. I don't even understand what you're trying to convince me of here. I'm trying to keep my people alive, and it's your mission to kill them. That's all there is to this, soldier. General Garza sent me to get your help. She wants to bring your people in alive. Not sure if I buy that. But then again, if she sent you to kill me, we wouldn't still be talking, would we? Hmm. You've already compromised the relay. Even if we take you out, it's only a matter of time until Garza has this place slagged for a click in every direction. And by now, Garza will know exactly where all the defector bases are. They'll be tethered banthas, cut off from each other and all... Excuse me, sir, but shouldn't we be... The Imperials might offer help, but it won't be much. They'll all be left to die. Tavis and the others will follow your lead. 
If you come in peacefully, they will too. Damn. I can't believe it's come to this. Sir? All right, soldier, I'll go along with this. But if you harm a single one of my people, you will be dead within the day. Understood. If your people won't come peacefully, they'll still have to be dealt with. And if you kill one of them, you'll be dead within the day. That's a promise. Let's get on with this, soldier. I can't allow you to go into enemy custody alive, Cardin. Are you still here? The op's over, people. Finished. Mission failed. So get out of here while you still got the legs to carry you. You leave me no choice, sir. Ready your weapons, men! Reminds me of old times. Here's my weapon. Consider me surrendered. I'll make my way up to the Senate Tower and turn myself in. See what Garza wants to do next. I'm glad to have you back on our side. I never said I was on your side, soldier. I'm doing this for my people, not for your Republic or anything else. Anyhow, I'm sure we'll meet again. There's a relay down here that needs to be detonated. Yeah, I suppose you've got a job to do. So much work down here for nothing. See you topside, soldier. Ah, the hero of the hour. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Just doing my job. Jack Carden walked up to the Sense Tower's front door and surrendered himself in broad daylight. I never thought I'd see the day. Carden's help will give us quite an edge against Tavis and the others. I'm glad you could change his mind. Involving an enemy in our operation might not be a good idea. Carden will be kept in restraints under heavy guard at all times. Trust me, this man is the last person I would underestimate. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. What are my orders in the meantime? As it happens, we've already discovered the location of one of the Habit traitors, Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. How could Wraith manage to kidnap a Republic Senator? Wraith was chosen for Havoc Squad for a reason. Her skills are exceptional. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? What about transport, General? Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. A ship has already been transferred to your command. It's waiting at the spaceport now. I hope you're not putting me in some second-rate junker. I appreciate your confidence. Only the best for Havoc Squad. Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Why would General Garza saddle me with some overblown protocol droid? You're not even armor-plated. Every soldier requires proper logistics to function. I provide the highest support level available. 
C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from Starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard the Rendili Hyperworks BT-7 Thunderclap, a rapid assault craft designed especially for Republic Special Forces at enormous taxpayer expense. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Sounds like you're good at everything. Does that include combat? As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. Hmm. Add a little armor, some combat protocols and a blaster, and you just might be worth something. Master, please. Any non-factory modification will void my warranty. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Request permission to depart. You are clear for departure. Have a pleasant flight. <laughs>